It just seems weird they would use an Ace Freely song, and all of Kiss would be in costume, mm -hmm. and they're coming into this area where these, how would you describe these things they're fighting? They're like... Uh, space cats, maybe? <laughs> giant space cats. <laughs> and Kiss is like making these giant kicks in their high heels to, oh, to kill God. these this, this, heels. This, yeah. huge, uh, this, this huge pile of, of <laughs> giant cats, whatever the fuck they are. And they all have special actually, powers. The though. robot cats, yeah. And Kiss, like Gene Simmons can blow, blow fire out of his mouth. Oh, yeah. Like he, a real demon. A and when Ace punches, I noticed that, that he has fire in his punch, too. Yeah, and I believe it's Ace Freely who knows how to do backflips all of a sudden. What's, Check this what's out. What's Paul's superpower? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Paul does some Screaming. kicking. Screaming. Yeah, there's, there's some good fight scenes in this. Oh, look, and this is a must see for any Kiss fan. There's you're gonna, space kitties. You're going to see Ace do a flip pretty soon. And I'm just trying to figure out could Ace have done that flip? Is there no, any way that's Ace? No. I mean, he's a young guy here. Uh oh. Gina's eyeing him. Hi. Ace is more like Oh, Ace actually had a line. And there's this giant structure seat. around them, surrounding them, and these these giant kitties, space kitties, are climbing down the structure. Oh, ludicrous! It looks Kiss like they're just standing in the middle. On the Gemini. Here comes Ace. That's Ace right there. Look at that. Oh, that's cool. Boy, that's not him. No. See how Ace kicks and fire comes out of his foot? Wow. There's Gene blowing fire. Oh, my God. Oh, good move. This is like Power Ace. Rangers. Was that Ace kicking there? <laughs> yes. I mean, how can you tell with the makeup? It looked like Ace's face. Yeah, you gotta you watch this movie. Makeup. Who's that guy? That's I think the that's the guy. Phantom of the Park. Yeah. Evil villain. Played by Anthony Zerby. He's running the Space Kitties. <laughs> Is that Gene really holding that guy over his head? Oh, hell yeah. Wow, he's so strong. He's so mad, too. Look at the look on his face. Paul Stanley looks the least threatening. That's Paul right there. <laughs> God. The space kid, he's laughing at Paul. What was that? When Paul knocks his head off. Looks like Paul's trying to hit on him. <laughs> Ace says two space kitties by the neck. Whoa. What? Did you shoot lasers out of his eyes? Is that, yeah. Was that Paul did that? Yeah, yeah, because Ace said, watch out. Wow, that's it. Boy, is that dumb. Uh, what a fight scene. <laughs> it seriously Mark. reminded me of the Power I mean, Rangers cool. against the Silly Putties. Care to guess it's Rotten Tomato score? Uh, the the critics didn't review it. There's only one critic review. I'm going to um, guess the fans give it a... The Kiss Army. Because they're Kiss in there. I'm going to say they get a 44. 61, baby. Okay. <sighs> wow. Kiss meets Phantom of the Park, also known as Attack of the Phantoms in Europe, and Kiss Phantoms in Italy, 78 American television film starring hard rock band Kiss. Yeah, it, it, it aired Barbera. on NBC. The movie's plot oh, revolves around... Yeah. Oh, my God. The movie's plot revolves around Kiss, who use their superpowers to battle an evil inventor and to save a California amusement park from destruction. NBC aired the film at the height of Kiss's popularity due to his poor acting and semi-comedic spirit. <laughs> Most Kiss sense? fans disliked the film, despite the film's poor quality, really? and has attained cult film status. Hmm. Most members of Kiss despise the film for making them appear buffoonish, despite Ace Freely <laughs> enjoying the production of the film. For years <laughs> after its airing. It's not annotated at all. It's just thrown into Wikipedia. <laughs> but we know Ace enjoyed it. For years after its airing, no one who worked for the group was permitted to mention the film in their presence. <laughs> what? Well, how, feel, how can we call Gordon about around? this? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, can we call Gordon about that? Call him really quick. Yeah, see if I'll, see if I'll answer. Do you think he, Gordon's seen it, right? He's, he knows. He has to know about this. Oh, he'll know about it. Do you think he's seen it, though? He has to. Yeah. I don't think so. What's the plot? Gordon? Yo. Hey, Gordon, it's Drew from Drew and Mike. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> how you doing? You got a minute? We're, we're talking about uh, Kiss Meets Phantom of the Park, the movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and, 
I'm the, not Chick-fil-A and Pickleball. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, it will be quick. In the, in the little story yeah. here, it says, for years after its airing, no one who worked with the group was permitted to mention the film in their presence. Were you passed a memo and told you could never mention Kiss Meets Phantom of the Park? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't sign that contract. <laughs> I mean, was it was it known well, I, though that this was not to be discussed around Kiss? I, I, I yeah, it's really weird. I mean, I, um, am I live on the air? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm alive. All right. Um, yeah, it, it was weird. I mean, it was a debacle. I mean, uh, I mean, Gene and Paul knew what kind of work you had to do to to film a movie. But the script sucked, obviously, and the, the whole concept. I mean, it was all good on paper, and then, and then it just was a cluster fuck. And then, you know, Ace was pissed. He was drunk the whole time, and he didn't <laughs> he didn't do much. You know, his standing was black. You know that. What? It was a it was a black person that was Ace's standing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so if, oh, oh. watch the movie Uh-oh. and really look close at all oh. Ace's like that where he's not speaking. Yeah. It's a black guy. Yeah. Are you, <laughs> are you telling me that Ace, Ace painted? Ace didn't like that the aspe- that aspect of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, just Ace wasn't responsible. And he didn't know he didn't know what it takes to make a movie. You know, he got bored <laughs> because you oh you know God. you're sitting on a set waiting 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 and like. And those, when those guys get bored, that's it. You know, they get in trouble. <laughs> um, was Ace must have been excited they used back in the New York groove? I mean, that's pretty cool. His solo song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, he did really well with that, you know. Um, and but he didn't like that. You know that. <laughs> oh, he didn't like that. that was the band, ho, the band Hello. Yeah, it gets the money because they wrote it. Oh, yeah. I see. Yeah, the band. If you look up back in the New York ro- groove, and Hello is the name of the band. And play that version of it, and it's not that different from yeah. what Ace did with it. No, I mean, I like both versions, actually, but it, it's funny. It, yeah. uh, I just was weird to see the four guys from Kiss, and it's it's them. It's not the stand-ins or anything like that. And there's Back in the New York Groove playing, which is Ace's solo song. That just felt kind of strange. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, Ace had, had the, he had the hit in the solo albums and that was the downfall because they want they, they all went their separate ways and they were competing with, with each other when when they start doing the solo albums mm-hmm. and Bill, Bill O'Coin kind of screwed up and he knew he screwed up because he, he let those guys take a break do their solo albums and he thought it was a brilliant idea because you know now each individual Kiss member is coming out with, a, with an album each which is a lot of sales you know, for the All record together, company, sure. instead of one Kiss album, right? It's four. It's four times Kiss. You know, and that, and then they were catering to each uh, Kiss member's uh, fan base. You know, so they thought they would, you know, do really well with sales and everything. But it was the downfall of Kiss with the original lineup because Ace, Ace got, got a big head. head. Yeah, Ace got a big. Yeah, head. and he got a big. He got a big head. And he goes, I don't need. And everybody was going, you don't need those guys, and all that was chirping in his ears. You know. Yeah, so, yeah, it happens. Uh, so, cool. but but this the the part that they really emphasize is that uh, for for decades afterwards that you could not mention this movie in the company of Paul or Gene or they would just lose their shit. They were so pissed about it. <laughs> yeah, because they thought it was a brilliant idea and it was a big flop. You know, <laughs> so they get embarrassed by it. You know? yeah. um, if, did it play then, much? Did did it air on TV much other than the original airing in seventy eight? Did it continue to air? Uh, say, say again, I couldn't hear you, I'm sorry I just wondered, after it aired in 1978 It sounds like the reviews were so bad And it was so embarrassing I just wondered if it continued to air in subsequent years Because it said it attained cult film status now But I just wondered if it You know, if they kept getting embarrassed By it airing over yeah. and over I, I, Yeah, I, I, I think Did I watch, did I even watch the movie? I, I don't think I watched the whole thing <laughs> It's like um, I, I, it didn't air much, no. And then obviously it becomes a cult classic, like you know, one of those nineteen fifties shitty sci fi movies. And now <laughs> they thought it was like you know brilliant stuff going on, and it was like garbage. And then it turns into a cult classic. Yeah, know? I want to see it. I really do. Well, Gordon, get back yeah. to your pickleball game. Sorry to interrupt you. <laughs> No, that's all right. I'm glad I picked up. I love you guys. You guys are great, man. <laughs> Your video is killing it, man. It's got like 25,000 views on our YouTube page. It's just still going. Yes. And thank you for bringing the book back to life. I mean, the sales are, are doing great. I love it. And any Kiss fans out there, read Kiss and Tell. Yeah, I mean, you have the new special edition. Which is really great if you if you read the original book. Uh, the special edition's great. I had not read Kiss and Tell. The second one is Kiss and Tell More, or what is it? Kiss and Tell the epilogue? It, it's it. 
it's Kiss and Tell More, and the, and the Kiss and Tell More thing had more contracts in it. It's very you know, for the no, real diehard Kiss fan that wants to see the you know the business side of Kiss. It, it had all that you know royalties and all that. How much they paid. Yeah, yeah. I, I just read that book, but the original one just made me laugh so hard out loud. People go, what are you reading right now? <laughs> so funny. So, yeah, Kiss and Tell, I you can't it. go wrong. And I'll, I'll try and read the other ones, uh, Gordon. Thanks so much. All right. Thanks for having me on the show. Take care, man. See you, Gordon. Hey, Gordon. <laughs> All right. Take care, man. Bye. All right. Gordon G.G. Gebert, author of Kiss and Tell and Kiss and Tell More. Would you like to see a clip of dialogue from the movie? Yeah, I would, I would like to see I want to see the movie now. All right, hang on. I got, I got a clip up here. In the description was uh, the thespian stylings of Ace Frehley. Uh, this, this is very, very exciting. There they are. <laughs> I bet this would be fun to watch. They're sitting... Like lifeguards on top of a pool, but they're all dressed Sorry up. Sorry to bother you boys. Uh, what? We had some trouble at the park last night, and, uh, well, everything seems to point to you. <gasps> That's him. <laughs> Somebody in high heels is walking into the shot. Is that Gene? Yeah. <laughs> Why are they wearing capes? Well, I don't know. Is it really Kiss, or did the Phantom take him over? I don't know the plot. Those cops are freaks. He's the one, all right. Almost tore my arm off. Jean's clean. A pussycat. Almost. Hi, Curly. <laughs> Look, someone vandalized our park last night, uh, smashed uh, some of our buildings, and injured a few of our what? guards. Well, Gene, they think it was you. <gasps> think? It was him. Or his twin. Gene's brother was an only child. Easy, cat man. They are serious. And they've got guns. <laughs> this guy's dangerous. Dialogue. I want him locked up. All right, look, look, don't, don't get excited, Sneak. I mean, let's talk about this privately. Excuse us. <laughs> I'm going for the police. Oh, man, Gene's in big oh. trouble. Or his twin. <laughs> that can't be Gene. He must be... There, a phantom must have taken him over. <laughs> He's really got those police scared. When has, yeah, clone. Gene, when has Gene lost the gift of gab? is going on. <laughs> oh, cool. This group brings in $200,000 a show. Paul lasered into the conversation with his eyes. He's convinced you did it. But the investigation's a stroke. What? He just wants the guy off his back. He's sweating the possibility that we might pull out. Ah. He's just plain sweating. <laughs> Great acting. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Oh, those cops are cool. Okay, guys, let's go. They don't know what to do. Uh, I know rock and roll is tend to get rowdy. <laughs> oh, Gene but, uh, Stewin. All we want is a nice show tonight, boys. Can you get some rest. What is that? Uh, a towel. Gene handed him a towel. Jeez. You're welcome. <laughs> Why does Gene's voice echo? It was a powerful scene. Really showed the oh. band in a good light. <laughs> um, there's yeah. a, there's Possibly another. the worst movie I've ever seen. Here, this is a 14-second clip. It just says, more Ace and Kiss Meets the Phantom. Uh, I'm not kidding. I want to see this movie. <laughs> what his trip is. His trip is a trap. Let's bring it. That's it? That's a, <laughs> that's a little lame. <laughs> At Magic Mountain, the park's engineer and creator of a series of animatronic attractions is not pleased that his works are being overshadowed by an upcoming concert by Kiss. <laughs> That's a likely story. Calvin Richards, the park's owner, explains that the concert will generate much-needed revenue to make up for the quality control problems that have plagued the creations. Melissa, a park guest, becomes concerned when her boyfriend, Sam Farrell, a park employee and assistant to the boss, has gone missing. <gasps> Meanwhile, three punks sabotage one of the rides, and Devereaux is blamed for the incident. That's the park's engineer. Melissa goes to Devereaux's underground laboratory, which was the last place Sam was seen. See Devereaux dismisses her after explaining that he has not seen Sam, but after she leaves the lab, he reveals that Sam has been placed under mind control <laughs> through what? the use of an electronic device on the back of his neck. The three punks enter the Chamber of Thrills, where they fall into traps set by Devereaux, the engineer. 
Richards fires Devereaux for his erratic behavior and disregard for the guest safety. Because of this, Devereaux swears revenge upon Richards, the park, and Kiss, all of whom he blames for his misfortune. Oh, my God. Shortly after Kiss's first concert at the park, Devereaux attempts... Spoiler alert. <laughs> Devereaux attempts to discredit them by unleashing a robotic copy of Gene Simmons to wreak havoc on go. the park. That's what See? just happened. Whoa. And security guards. The band is questioned the next day. We just saw that questioning, that intense questioning by the pool there. But no action is taken, causing the park's officials, including police and Richards, to apologize to them by pardoning Jim of sabotage. Melissa seeks help from the band to find Sam, unaware the security pass she received from Devereaux is a tracking device. Devereaux I want to see that movie. I want to see that. Devereaux has Sam break into the band's lair to try and steal their talismans, but the plan is foiled <laughs> on the force field on the talis talisman's case. Wow. Oh, right. Foiled mm. due to the force field on the talisman's case. Wow, Kiss sneak into the park to confront that's... Devereaux, fighting off Devereaux's animatronic white monkeys in the process. Oh, those were white monkeys. Oh, huh? I guess so. Okay. So much for space cats. Meanwhile, Sam manages to steal the talisman and delivers him to Devereaux, who then neutralizes Kiss with a ray gun. What? Kiss, having lost their powers, are imprisoned in the underground lab. Oh, no. Oh. Devereaux then sends his robotic Kiss copies in place of the real Kiss in order to ruin their concert and incite a riot. Huh. The what is he, a robot? The real Kiss manages to retrieve their talismans, thereby regaining their powers. They escape and quickly head to the stage where they defeat the imposters and save the concert. Wow. Did they fight each other? I guess so. Oh, holy crap. Oh, sounds like a great one. <laughs> After the show, Kiss, Melissa, and Richards confront Devereaux in the underground laboratory, only to discover he is frozen. He is frozen in a catatonic state, seemingly revealing himself as the namesake phantom of the park. Mm. Paul Stanley removes the mind control device from Sam's neck, turning him back to normal. Richards laments Devereaux's demise by saying, he created Kiss to destroy Kiss, and he lost. <laughs> in alternate take, use the final dialogue, he created Kiss to defeat Kiss, and in the end, it destroyed him. <gasps> oh, so there's an alternate take. The last line of the... Sure about that plot, oh, that's awesome. but I still want to see it. <laughs> it does it, sound like it does sound like a stupid fun movie. It, yeah, to watch. it does. They are horrible actors. Oh my god, were they <laughs> bad? I think Paul would be a much better actor. Yeah, yeah I mean, that's a what little he, bit. on stage. They act every night in costumes yeah. too. Yeah. Wow. Wow. He has that. Like red lipstick thing, and it's it's he leans on that crutch so hard. That, well, like if it works, man, go with it. He's gay. <laughs> yeah, I don't, funny, and, and, I don't know what's going on. I mean that that whole thing with Ace and Peter Chris that Gordon revealed. Mm -hmm. That was I did not well, see not that to, one coming. Not to mention what's in Ace's right, yeah. um, safety deposit box. Oh yeah. Yeah. Analingus. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Even yeah, that was... Everyone knows what it is. So allegedly, all four KISS members have gotten it on with another member of the band. Yeah, maybe that's the divide. It, it it's a lover's quarrel. And the way Gordon told the Ace story was so damn funny that there's this just this pile of women with Ace and Peter, and all anybody can see is that Peter... <laughs> that Peter... <laughs> has someone under the covers, and he is just in ecstasy. And then when all of a sudden he blows up, and what crawls out from under the covers? Ace! Oh, my <laughs> God! What? <laughs> so and then Ace and Peter argued in front of their wives about who blew who. <laughs> <laughs> Which really God. let the cat out of the bag. Jeez.